This is going to be one of my first Halo videos in years, but with Infinite looking to be one of the biggest games of the year, and quite frankly, decade, I wanted to start making videos about Halo again. Today, I wanted to give a bit of a breakdown on the customization system features in the game, going over what we know, as well as actually showing off what might be available in the September tech preview. We're kind of going off of what was in the July, but it should probably be the same. When you first work your way into the customization tab of the menus, you will want to click on the armor hall tab. The first screen will show you your Spartan character on a 360 degree rotating platform. This is the screen where you will change out which armor core is equipped. Given that this is the tech preview, we actually only have one available at the moment, which is the Mark 7. Once you do that, you're going to click whatever button is mapped to the mod option at the bottom of the screen, and once you do, you are ready to start customizing your Spartan. So in total, when it comes to the armor of the Spartan, there will be several components. As you can see, we've got coatings, helmet, visor, chest, left and right shoulders, as well as gloves, wrist, hip, and knee pad options. In each of these different sub-menus, you'll notice that we have a couple different options available here in the preview, but obviously nowhere near as many options that we should expect at launch. Hopefully. Armor will have a quality system, much like the armor rarity in Halo 5 with filters like whether or not you own a certain armor piece, if it's a favorite, which season it is from, as well as its rarity. All armor will be earned through a rank-up system or can be purchased with the credit's virtual currency. Like what we saw back in Halo Reach, except now in Infinite, we will have the option to buy credits with real money, as well as earn them via gameplay and the challenge system, similar to what we see in MCC. Additionally, we will also have access to the Battle Pass, with which you can rank up and earn armor and cosmetic rewards. Okay, so I needed to add this. I almost totally forgot about it, but when I was playing the tech preview, uh, I don't know if you saw the same thing as me, but we got a motherfucking octopus marine over here. That bitch got four arms. <laughs> I hope this stays in in the final release. Maybe, uh, maybe 343, you can go back in and give him like prosthetic limbs to... He has an exosuit or something like that that helps him work more efficiently. This is amazing. Please don't take him out, 343. I love him. If we can name him anything, can we call him Doc Ock? I think that'd be perfect, fit, great. Butterfingers. All right, whatever. Let's go back to the video. When you inspect a piece of armor, you'll be shown a little bit of lore, the season it was released, and the in-universe manufacturer of the piece. Can I say that right? In-universe in manufacturer? in-universe manufacturer of the piece. And in the case of the helmets, you'll be able to modify which attachments you have equipped as well. The last thing I wanted to cover in this short video was the body customization options. Here we can adjust the girth of our Spartans. That's right, I said girth. I don't know what else to say. Going from, I'm gonna say chonky to not chonky to normal. I don't know, I feel like they're kind of out of order, but whatever. And the next couple slider options reflect your prosthesis. Each of your four limbs can now be customized to have partial prosthetics or full ones. For our arms, we can choose between transhumeral, transradial, as well as just simply the hand. For the legs, it's the transbibital or below knee. All right, in conclusion, I'm really impressed with this customization system. It's pretty straightforward. You just gotta figure out where everything is. Really like the sorting system. I hope that that carries over into the September uh, preview. I think that there's a lot of customization options for your own, you know, Spartans presentation. I know a lot of people have already probably said that, but I just think it's cool that we can add these prosthetics. I liked it when they introduced it in Halo Reach, and I like that they're bringing it back. We haven't really seen it since then, so... I know a lot of people weren't able to get in in the last tech preview, but I'm looking forward to the September one just coming up here in like two weeks. Um, there's going to be a lot more people in there. Uh, Big Team Battle is going to be in there. I'm super excited about that. I'm going to be making a couple of videos about that when that comes out. So yeah, uh, I just thought I'd share everything that I learned from the July Tech Preview so that you know a little bit more. And if you're a new player, you know what to expect going into September. Uh, but with that said, thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to say that every video from now on. If nobody's going to do it for you, you got to do it yourself. So like I said, thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.